Hi, you're on the road with Larry. Today we're talking to Rick Turner of Renaissance Guitars. Hi, Rick. Hi, how are you doing, Larry? Well, tell us a little bit about the uh, foundation and the Buddy Holly Fritz. Well, in 1990, I restored uh, the Buddy Holly 1943 guitar, uh, a, a 43 Gibson J45. And second year of the of manufacturing of that guitar. And uh, one of the things I had to do was to refret the instrument uh, to make it playable. And uh, at the end of the job, uh, Gary Busey, who owned the guitar, uh, let me keep the frets. So I wrapped them up. Here, let's get a close up of these. Uh, a bit of masking tape and wrote Buddy Holly on there and stashed them away in a drawer for 20 years. And. Uh, and here they are, and one each will wind up uh, being inlaid into a wooden label that will go inside each of these 18 guitars that I'm building for, uh, for the Buddy Holly Foundation, Buddy Holly Guitar Foundation, which will be a nonprofit uh, set up to raise money for uh, music education and other worthy musical causes. You know, in antiques, they talk about, there's a term called provenance. Yes. And you've got absolute provenance. They've been in a drawer here yeah. for 20 years? Well, not only that, I've got photographs uh, taken of me removing the frets. So I've got photographs of, of my hands on Buddy's guitar with a soldering iron in one hand, heating a fret up, and a fret nipper in the other, pulling a fret out. So... And the, uh, the gentleman who took the photographs, uh, David Neely, is now on the board of directors of the Buddy Holly Guitar Foundation. So, so not only do I have provenance from me, I've got it from, from Dave Neely as well. So, well, that's great. I can see yeah. those would be great pictures for the website. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get it all, all happening. We're still in the process of setting up the legal entity of the foundation and of officially putting the board of directors together. And so there are things that we don't want to get really official about until it is a certified uh, 501c3. Uh, and, uh, and Maria Elena Holly has, uh, has officially joined our board of directors. She's, she's agreed uh, in principle now, and we're going down to, uh, to meet her in several weeks to uh, have a nice Texas barbecue, I guess, and... Uh, and get to Maria Elena happy and on the board. So I think she's going to really enjoy what we're going to be doing with this. So. When you got Buddy's uh, J45, what shape was it in? Uh, the guitar was <laughs> recognizable as a guitar, but it was cracked. Uh, the body was cracked. The sides were cracked from the upper bout through the waist, through the lower bout, and all the way through the end block. And uh, the frets were, they were gone. I mean, they were really... Not much left. It had been dressed a few times and had fret wear, and and I imagine there's a little bit of buddy DNA, a little buddy sweat you know, on every fret here. <laughs> um, so the the main part of the job was to to do the crack repair, uh, and I had to do that through the sound hole because Gary didn't want me to take the leather cover off because Buddy himself had sewn it in place uh, the, for the the replica guitars that we're going to make. The, we will make covers. Susie Temple of Austin, Texas will make the covers, but she's going to put zippers on them so that, that the people who have the guitars uh, on loan from the foundation can remove the cover and play it for a studio gig or something like that. But um, I'm actually quite eager to hear how the guitars sound with pickups in them with the leather covers on. I have a feeling they'll be great stage acoustic guitars like that. Uh, the leather cover will uh, help prevent feedback and it could it could provide a very interesting sound to an amplified acoustic guitar. I have no idea. This is how we find out. We do it, you know. This is this is a, a research and development project as well as being a, a historical reenactment, if you will. It's it's a it's a really great project. And it sounds like uh, the guitars are really going to do a lot of good. I hope so. I hope so. And that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to put some 
really smart and prominent people on the board of directors. That is that so that there'll be some good ideas happening. Excuse me. That's okay. We're filming in, in the real world. <laughs> this is <so>. real. <laughs> yeah. Just to show you, this is not a studio. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. Uh. With the right people on the board, it will compound the ideas. You know, I've I've, I've had a lot of input into this uh, from a few people, and I'm looking for a lot more input from a number of other people. Well, it's a it's a fascinating story, and uh, you know the the frets are uh, you know just a historical artifact. Yes, absolutely. Of yeah. a much simpler time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're on the road with Larry and Rick Turner. Thank you.